It's a great day to be indigenous. <laughs> Calgarians celebrate National Indigenous Peoples Day with a tipi transfer and a walk for reconciliation. Just a couple of the events that took place in the city to acknowledge Indigenous history and culture. And understand that uh, uh, maybe we've been misinformed historically, and that uh, and that now uh, now we're now we're, we've entered a, n a new era through truth and reconciliation, and uh, and it, it's time to to help each other heal. The walk for reconciliation started early in the morning from the Harry Hayes building to Fort Calgary. Hundreds of people walked together in support to what is believed to be the largest turnout yet. At Fort Calgary, drummers and dancers and speeches to reflect on the difficult history of residential schools in Canada and the legacies of its survivors. It's unfortunate what happened to our ancestors and the people that came before us, but, you know, it, I feel like it almost empowers us to continue on these like cultures and traditions and ceremonies and protocols. A TP transfer ceremony at Princess Island symbolized the importance of learning about indigenous history and traditions and to understand their journey. Getting, being educated on what happened and ha have an understanding, have compassion, be kind, you know, that um, our people suffered a lot. You know, and we're, you know, we're trying to make changes and within our own communities. Celebrating Indigenous heritage and its contributions across the country and recognizing their resilience through time. To start to build up courage and strength to continue on and to fight for what is right. We are still here and we're still surviving. They did not kill the Indian in us. In Calgary, Silvia Naranjo, City News.